The blood of Christ was poured out for many, but is accepted individually. See, there are many people um, that are follow, say they follow Jesus now, but are like the crowd that was with him at John 6. They see God as a genie, not as their savior. They say, you know, God, I'm following God because I want peace. I want freedom. I want hope. I want sort of a get out of jail free card. I think that my life will be easier if I've sort of bought into something like this. But they have not taken the step of saying that I believe in a bloody savior. And I have not taken that step because I don't like the idea that the Bible says that I am washed by his blood and that is what makes me clean. Think about that for a second. Now for those who have rejected Christ, they've said, I do not accept his blood. I do not believe he died on the cross for my sins. I am not washed by that. Know that the atonement, the forgiveness of sins then is withheld. Because this is the mechanism that God has chosen. He says, blood, in blood is life. In Christ's life, the blood came out. And that blood was for you. Every single person. So that they could accept it freely. But this is also an individual decision. This is something you have to make, a choice you have to decide, not because you grew up in a household where they talked about Jesus, not just because you've gone to church for a long time, but because you've said, I believe in Jesus, I accept him as my bloody savior, I know that I'm washed clean by his blood. This is what we have to do. And if we are able to do that, then this entire idea of blood, of, of the significance of it, it becomes all the more beautiful. Because we see as we look back from the beginning of the Bible all the way into the end that God was telling his people this grand story about a savior that was coming that was going to save the world. And so my prayer today as we're about to bow our heads is just that you would consider, first of all, if you have made this decision, but then also if you have, if you have trusted in Jesus, that we wouldn't shy away from this idea, but we, we would look at the blood of Jesus as the expression of him saying, I give my life for you.